Hey guys, still here. Today I have a very different type of video. Uh, yes, it is mud fight, but we are doing a zombie game. I used to do these uh, way, way back in the day. A zombie game, for those of you unfamiliar, I have only 15, oh, sorry, 10 unit cards. And um, the enemies, Lorden, Sally, and Zodda, they have zombie decks, which means a lot of cheap stuff. A lot of low value units, but a hell of a lot of them. To give you an idea, um, there were two motorized decks in here, and these guys can get 196 units of infantry if they max it out for full numbers. So there is a hell of a lot of infantry. Now, on top of that, they can get some cheap vehicles, and um, we don't get that many vehicles. And on top of that, we are already starting, which is a hell of a lot faster than I was hoping for, actually, but here we are. Um, it's uh, a fun game. These guys are going to have to try and push us, and we're going to have to try and survive. That's the whole deal. You're going to be listening in on my team, that is Etez and Kieta. And in case you're wondering, why the hell do you have two AIs on your team? These are two AIs which have no units in them, but one CV. The reason for that is that you create this uh, sideways team, or this unbalanced team, where you have a 5v3. So these guys get even more availability. So as I mentioned, they can get 196 units of infantry, um, but they get a multiplier. It's like when a teammate leaves and you get an availability bonus. I think we're going to be looking at about 250 units of infantry um, per player. So there's a hell of a lot of stuff. Anyway, here we go. Holy shit, look at this. That's a lot. <laughs> We're gonna need more guns. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Bleed. What are those? They're know. old My reservist mind. transports. Jesus. And it's time for the grenade launchers. Oh, bleed. You can hear from the BTRs? Jeez, their availability is nuts. Now, for those of you watching the video, availability is high, income is very high, there's no time limit, and there is no points limit either. And look at these guys, these guys are already getting quite a few points. Transports that I'm using are the uh, KA-4050. The reason being, they have 1,200 rounds of grenade launcher ammo. And they're very good against <coughs> swarms in that way. But probably not good enough. Firewall! Yeah, you're gonna need a little more than that, I think. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> This is awesome! Oh no, <laughs> my tank is out of ammo. Jesus. Yeah, that's gonna oh, happen weapons real jammed. quick. Go. There is a chance that they're gonna try and rush our zone. Something like that is happening. And my side seems to be falling, so... Yay! Can you take out this Afghanski? I'll deal with the infantry. Oh, oh you're out of ammo. Yeah. Yeah, and, um, and my other... My other right now, my line of sight. Give me a second, I'll, I'll, I'll fix it. Okay, the right side seems to be open, so, yeah. Alright, go for it. I mean, open because I'm dead. Oh, you mean we are open? Yes. Oh, oh shit. Jesus. Alright. <laughs> Did you bank on expensive units or something? Mm, no. Um, I did. <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea where I fucked up, but I did. I'm 
holding them in the middle, but this right flank would be a real problem. If they, if they make it to this town, we're basically fucked. Yeah, and they're making it to the town right now. I've got nothing, no points. I'm gonna relocate my assets from left flank towards east. Yeah, sure. Oh shit, T3045, so I do not have anything to counter that. Um, yeah, I need safer points. I can try and send my America towards there. Well, at least the CV keeps, or the AI keeps spamming CV, so we got that. <laughs> okay, I've got the right side under control, so... The left side. Left side. Oh, that's so stupid of me! Just checking. Oh, no, not, not the left right side, I, I opened up my flank while I see four missiles go, coming up to my uh, Markava. What are all these ZSLs just sitting here? I don't know, but it worries me. This looks a little... UQVD coming in the middle. There's another T-3045 rush as well. This is where that button from Steel Division can come in handy. Efficient shot. Only <laughs> fire if you actually have a shot. You're okay when it's being side shot. Yeah, I should have. Burn, damn it. We're gonna have to find something that can stop about. 15 SU-100s. Mm. I'm bringing um, one of my Mercafas over from uh, from the left side. Uh, but it's empty on everything, so... <laughs> I hope you make it home, then. Yeah. Four stacks all over this place. Okay, the SU-100s are easily killed by the moths. Yeah, until you run out of ammo. <laughs> that's that's another question. Don't ruin my fight. Can you run back to my fob with those moths? Yeah, yeah, we'll try to. And I'm gonna be putting the road on fire. So be careful. Okay. These things are not exactly known to be picky about what they shoot at, so they might not be too accurate with all that napalm. Look at those walls go. Yep. <laughs> Next to your mall. <laughs> I love these guys. They're such a bunch of assholes. So we They're have killed little less than they have killed. <laughs> well, I think right now they're saving up for a giant push. Yeah, it might be here with the T3045s, but they they need to keep those things supplied. Careful with the mark. Yeah. Uh, there seems yeah, to be a blob of uh, something coming. Yeah. T3045s. 1969s. 10 AP max. I really hope that this thing could do something against that. Very accurate. Should be able to watch out all of them. Go, 
Lesson learned, I need less CEVs and shit like that, and I need more of these guys. More of the maws? Yep. <coughs> it depends on what they throw at you, because if they throw infantry, then the maws are not great. Uh oh, speaking of which. Yep. Here's the Gornos. Fall back. Doing good. Here come the 3045s. I don't know. Fortunately, these things are blind, mostly. They can actually take a hit. <laughs> Russian <Okay>. bias. <laughs> Kami kept off. And <laughs> <laughs> so the AI is good for something. Yeah. You should have given the AI uh, the Israeli deck with the uh, tank. Uh, yeah. Oh shit, Atez! Is... <laughs> How are you not taking damage though? I don't know, but I'm happy. Oh, fuck. Here comes the push. Big one. Oh, the push is on the left as well. The push is everywhere. T-55 Recon tank. Uh, I don't know where uh, it I think the only way to keep these guys at bay for the moment is to use aerial attack weapons. Grenade launchers, multi-shots, holy shit. Right flank's pushing as well. We got pushes from here to there. Oh wow, the right flank. I didn't even notice. Oh <laughs> shit. Jeez, <laughs> look at all these new guys. <laughs> Fires out of action. I'm amazed you can spot individual units. Yeah, <laughs> I was just gonna say I don't see any T-34. I only see infantry and transport. I'm 
about to lose my fob. Oh shit, they're in the buildings. Yep. Fall back. Kampfgruppe Hanvi is proving its superiority once again. You might want to get that Oshkosh out of there. Yeah. I'm I'm encircling them with three Humvees. I think you can split up one Humvee and start CV hunting because we're never going to be stopping this forward. We need to lower their income. Yep. And of course I send the one with the optical failure. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, they are coming from the north as well. Yeah. I'll handle these guys. Well, handle. Shit. Oh shit, they are protecting their... their bits. Gates, gates, four okay. bits, that, that works as well. But what I wanted to say is that I cannot just leave this place because the bottom of the hill is defended by tanks. BTR 152. Yeah, you can. Can you get that? Uh. Three versus an HMG. This is interesting. Oh shit! There's three more. Turn around, Suka. I got nothing that can kill that. Not uh. Anything, me neither. This is rarely you hear it. Oh, I have an M113. Here to sell those might be able to do something. Against guys in this forest or right here. You mean? Yeah. If you had the yeah. lock match on it would have been even better. No. Drop off. <laughs> it's eerily quiet. Yep. The rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're gonna overrun us with the next push. Probably. <laughs> so, <yeah>. All right. <laughs> I am refilling my infantry squads. Nobody's getting into the spirit of things. <laughs> yeah.
Though the way our, act our actual spawn point looks is not really easy. Why the hell this AI is not pushing with his CV, I don't know. Yeah. But we got one command <laughs> vehicle left in this sector. If we lose that, it's GG. Yep. And they're capping everything. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's the push. <laughs> there's the push, yeah. I think it's, I am going to be over. moving my CV to a central position because I am not really happy about that. What are they? Oh, it's more Transport. uh, transports. Reservists. UBI. Oh, somebody got some or Agent Orange left? Uh, this unfortunately not. Needs to go. <laughs> yeah, if I'm gonna <coughs> send my HVMS in there, it's gonna be killed in a second. I'm moving my CV. They're so pushing not... on the left here as well, by the way. The I counter? Moved. No, 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 I moved oh. it. Okay. I moved it because I don't <laughs> really like it. The computer surrenders. <laughs> 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 AI is giving up. <laughs> the AI is giving up. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, that's the first. Oh. oh, holy shit, I got Look at the points. 77 points. Oh, the AI was stacking whoa, everything. Whoa. Okay, we should play this without AI. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I call another CV. <laughs> now everyone's spawning everything. Well, this is just stellar. Oh Jesus, but where they spawn they're getting killed off immediately. Oh yeah. I think we got most of it. We're gonna have to clear this forest. Yep. Yeah. Okay, they are rushing. What, right flank? Yep. Yep, they're also far back here. CNC is a, yeah. the expansion one. No, no, it's the base Chinese ah. dragon tank.
mein Sohn Lust. Okay, my last thing it has fallen. Is your CV dead? Mm -hmm. It is. My Osh is surviving out. <laughs> in the middle of all those enemies. Yeah, he's throwing ammo and fuel at them. With uh. his bare hands. And he's using his truck as an IED, just look at it. Ah, this is amazing. Yeah, I royally fucked up at the beginning, so I'll take responsibility for the defeat. No, you shouldn't. No, it's also I mean. the AI. I didn't know they were going to get 40 points like that. That's like <laughs> the low AI as well. There's still one AI that's playing. Sort of. Oh. Uh, he must have another 600 points. Probably even more than that. If not more by this point, yeah. Just got to survive for oh, 26 minutes. Yeah, we're on self destruction. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, then we're gonna lose. No, I got one. Um, and the AI has annuities, so... <laughs> they're never gonna find these, these, uh, how do you call it? CVs. They have another port coming in. Yep. Oh fuck, they got easy gems? <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, I know that the core knows. Has it ever happened that not the zombies won? Um, he's not played against AI, in which case it's manageable because you just have smart people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, I know. This is new. There goes my last CV. Unless they can't kill it, which would be hilarious. <laughs> but well, we've got a CV left, right? Uh, seems like they cannot. Fun. Seems like they cannot. Nope. <laughs> yes, just turn their whole vehicle park into pieces. <laughs> Can I drive over them? Uh, you should be, but for it's some reason the guy still hasn't identified what is actually chasing him. <laughs> it's coming long. <laughs> wow, it's actually blending into the herd. <laughs> Day 300. They still think I'm dead. <laughs> Ooh, I can capture this. This is the flying version of a supply truck. <laughs> MI6. And moreover, I'm going to need it because I'm running out of fuel. Mm, and there isn't too many of them in real life left. There was a quad stack of something in the, in the woods. Next to it. Yeah, I think it were just <clears throat> machine gun transports. I think this game actually proves something. Commanders have no fucking idea what's going on the front. Like, if you cannot identify the vehicle that is standing right in front of you, it's, it tells you... It tells a lot about your capabilities. Now my tank is chasing an Oshkosh. Headback bitch. 
Oh, infantry! Optical failure, like you could see any less. Yep. Who, who is playing? Is that the computer still playing near Alpha or? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Or, yeah, no, it has to be. <laughs> that Oshkosh really doesn't want to surrender. Damn it, I'm standing right next to it. Hand it over. <laughs> I can't even fire because I'm too close. We need to motivate him a little. Oops. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's one way to put it. <laughs> Alright guys, with that I'm gonna end the video. Commander uh, Murayama, how are you? It was definitely an interesting fight. And I hadn't considered the fact that the AI was gonna be uh, hoarding our points. So that is definitely something that I need to learn. Aside from that, Napalm works in a match like this. Napalm works very, very well. So that is something I'm going to be using more of. Um, Entes and Kieta didn't deploy the best units. They had units which had a lot of point value in them. And not so much units which could destroy a lot of stuff, like my um, uh, my little napalm buggies, if that's a thing. So um, I hope you enjoyed the show. Not a serious war game, but this is just one of the other ways that you can play the game. And it does definitely makes for an interesting experience because it is so different from the standard war game. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. And uh, I shall see you soon for more videos.